Nightingale is due to release on Thursday the 22nd of February 24 and looks to be fantastic. Using the latest Unreal graphics engine and procedural generation, the gameplay is immersive and realistic. I've been involved in some of the playtests throughout this year, and for those of you that are lucky enough to get a peek into the game via the stress test or early access, I hope you'll get the same visual experience. In this video, I'll highlight some useful information on the performance benchmark estimations for the game, so you can know what to expect and give you some helpful tips to help you maximise your PC's performance when playing Nightingale. Please hit that like and make sure you're subscribed to this new channel GD Dies, as it will be dedicated to survival and crafting style games, although you can still find up to date weekly content on my other channel for Fallout. The following shows the benchmark estimations for the game from January the 31st 2024. Please note that the frame generation is a new feature within Nightingale and currently still experimental. With all modern games it's always beneficial to try and install the game to an SSD where possible. Solid state drives allow for quicker access to data compared to the standard hard disk drives. This is especially important with Nightingale as the game will be continuously communicating with infection servers due to the realm as being largely procedurally generated. Be sure to check and update your PC's graphic drivers before you play as not all driver updates are captured by Windows Update, so it's a good idea to check the things like Armory Crate, NZXT and IQ Software to name a few, if you have these installed. As Nightingale needs to communicate with the servers at inflection for realm generation and multiplayer, ensure your internet connection is strong and stable. The best way to ensure you are connected to your router via a cable connection where possible. This will help reduce the loading times. It's also advisable to pause using a VPN whilst playing, as although they are useful tools, they can also interrupt connections to the servers and may cause disconnects. Ensure you close any non-essential programs and disabled Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive from updating, so that your PC can have as much of its resources available when jumping into the realms. If you have any performance boost options like NVIDIA DLSS and AMD's FSR, ensure they are enabled, as Nightingale has full support for these. If you are experiencing issues here, then it may be worth increasing the performance level of your boosted upscaling, so try switching from DLSS quality to DLSS balanced, or TSR balanced to TSR performance. You should also turn frame generation on in your graphics card settings if your card supports this. Both Nvidia and AMD should have options available, and this can help to increase your frame rate by up to 80%. Depending on your setup, you may wish to reduce the display resolution down to 1440p or 1080p, as if you're pushing your hardware already, you'll be reducing the load on your GPU, and therefore getting a better FPS at 1080p and at a higher resolution, even if the visual fidelity may be decreased, but this is really a personal preference. Lumen is an amazing technology, but it can be a resource heavy on your GPU, so if you're still having issues with FPS, then try dropping your settings for global illumination to balanced or performance mode. You may also want to reduce the shadow quality setting, or even just lower the entire quality preset down a notch, as this may well fix many performance issues and still enable you to have a great experience with the game. I'll be releasing a series of videos and guides for Nightingale before the scheduled release of the game on the 22nd of February, which should hopefully give you some useful tips and tricks to help you getting started on your journey as a realm walker, so please be sure to check those out. I hope you found this helpful, I'm GG, and thanks for watching. See ya!